Hey guys, it's Carls. I usually stream on Twitch as Carls Weezer, but today we will be doing my first movie review ever. This movie is called Vengeance. It's directed, produced, written by, and stars BJ Novak, who is known for playing Ryan in The Office, also uh, has written, directed, and produced episodes of The Office on top of episodes for The Mindy Project. He's also pretty memorable for his role in Inglorious Bastards as well. But basically, the film starts in taking place in New York following a character named Ben, BJ Novak, who sleeps around a lot. He ends up getting a call. He is told like, hey, your girlfriend's dead. Like, he figures out the name of the supposed girlfriend and does find out that he did in fact hook up with this girl and her brother is calling him down for a funeral in Texas. So he is, uh, Ben is also a writer looking for the perfect idea. He's always wanted to do a podcast. So he goes to Texas for a girl he didn't barely knew basically that her family thinks he's the boyfriend of and like even at her funeral there you know there's the one photo of them together a lot more starts to unwind in this story and while he is here ben is told by the brother that he doesn't think abby's death was actually an overdose ben is curious in this and thinks it's the perfect story podcast idea i'm not gonna spoil any of zach's but uh that's basically where it starts it was kind of bad a little boring in the beginning honestly but once things start to pick up it gets really entertaining this film is definitely carried by the characters for sure bj novak did a good job as ben i think the people that really carry it is the family of Abby, Abilyn Shaw. Uh, she's played by Leo Tipton. First meet her brother, Ty, who is played by Boyd Holbrook. And you meet her mom, whose name is Sharon and played by J. Smith Cameron. And you meet her sisters, Kansas City, which is played by Dev Cameron. You meet her other sister, Paris, which is played by Isabella Amara, and you meet her youngest brother, El Stupido, is what he's introduced to you as, but he's played by Eli Bickle, and Luann Stevens as Granny. We also got Issa Rae playing Eloise, is his boss that Ben reports to. And there's another character named Quentin Sellers, played by Ashton Kutcher. There actually was a lot of things you could take out of this film, surprisingly. This movie packed a lot more into it than I thought. It was a way different movie than I thought it'd be, it definitely made me think a lot and that's what I kind of saw through other reviews too. One of the biggest things they start talking about before he even finds out he has this girlfriend in Texas is like about the America versus America. It's saying the red versus blue without saying it, but just about all our differences and America and how we're like kind of in a war with ourselves with each other and then he goes to Texas which is a big environment change from New York I feel like it says a lot about Texas about you know the stereotypes kind of how they handle things versus different areas started to get to very more serious topics which obviously you know they think Abby died from drug abuse so there's a big thing on the opiate crisis. Ben is kind of like, hey, why don't we just call the cops if we think it's something else? The brother, Ty, is like, nah, like we ain't calling Mike and Dan. And they're like, nah, no one calls 911 kind of vibe. And it's like, a, it's definitely done in a nice comedic matter, but there's definitely kind of a comment on this thing really does happen in different areas. and. Like, I feel like, honestly, it pretty much was a fair representation of a lot of what I've heard of Texas being. There's a lot of talk, you know, just about people 
and the development of like social media like what social media means for day-to-day -day relationships and how much it can really affect and what the interesting thing i find about that is it very much was about social media but they barely actually used it in the film that was like just the background theme that was always there one of the biggest themes i feel like is just really finding meaning for people and respect because we all have meaning overall i really enjoyed the film i do recommend watching this film i am really excited to see what else bj novak does you should check out the movie and if you like my content you feel free to subscribe or follow my twitch and see more of what i make thanks for watching